Hey, what's up fellas? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your FPS and get better performance in all new Valorant episode 8. Now, I know I'm a little late because I was out of country and you guys can see my vlogs on the other channel. But anyways, let's start ahead with the video without wasting any more time. Alright, step so number one is the essential settings and for that you have to open up settings on your PC and over here you have to go all the way down to the gaming section then over here go to game bar and make sure to turn this thing off. As usual, game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and disabling that will give you the best performance. Then you have game mode, you have to turn this thing on because in every single scenario I have tested, game mode turned on will give you the best FPS possible as it will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background. Right beneath that, you'll also find graphic settings, and if you're on Windows 11, you'll find a change default graphic settings. You have to click on this option and then enable both of these options. The first one is hardware accelerated GP scheduling, and the second one is optimizations for windowed games. Both of them will help you to utilize your GP to the maximum level and reduce your input latency. Then you have to go back to graphics and right over here go to browse and then open up the installation location of your Valorant. Now, once again, I highly recommend you guys to download your Valorant on your local disk C because in that way you're gonna be getting the maximum fps then you have to add it and you'll find it right over here you have to simply go to options and then select high performance and then simply click on save well before moving ahead i would like to introduce you all to gvg mall a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place gvg mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit reliable and convenient on the website you can find a lot of categories where you can get steam and origin as well as pc game gift cards and genuine windows activation key i however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since i do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it i can literally get a windows key for a huge discount generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25 percent off at just 1631 and you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark there are multi bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it you will get an email within minutes and using that code you can activate your windows in no time so go check out gvg mall links are in the description below all right second step is the valorant config settings and for that you have to press your windows and r key together and right over here you have to type in app data once it opens up you have to go over to local then find valorant over here simply double click to open it up go to saved then go over to config go over to the latest one modified on your PC because that is going to be the one that you have played more recently. So for me, it is going to be this one. You have to simply double click to open this thing up, go over to Windows, and then you'll find in game user settings.ini. This is what you have to play with. So simply right click on this, go over to open with, and then go open to notepad. Now, once it opens over here, you have to look on the first thing that is be used vsync. You have to make sure that this is turned to false. Right beneath that, you'll also find use dynamic resolution. Simply Set this thing to false as well then you have preferred full screen mode you have to set this thing to one the frame rate limit also plays a very important part over here and you have to set this thing to 3 fps negative to your monitor's refresh rate to find your refresh rate you can always open up display settings on the pc and over here you have to scroll all the way down and open up the advanced display settings and you'll find your refresh rate for me it is 240 hertz you can simply round out to the nearest value for me it is going to be 240 so you have to do 240 minus 3 that gives me 237 fps now it's completely optional i have a high-end pc so i can set this into zero but if you guys have a low-end computer and you do not want to play around you can simply set this thing to 3 fps minus your refresh rate and this will give you the best fps possible i have tried and tested on many games and it works not only on valorant but other games as well then you have to scroll all the way down until the scalability groups now for the resolution quality over here i highly recommend you guys to set this thing to somewhere between 80 don't forget a decimal point right over here and 80 will do the best but if you guys can play it around you can always go with 85 as well the resolution quality will pixelate your game a little bit but this will give you the maximum fps possible right beneath that you'll also find view distance quality and you have to set this thing to one 
make sure to set this thing to 1 on every single one of it. You can also set this thing to 0 but 0 will by default set this thing to the automatic values as well. So just set this thing to 1 over here and simply press Ctrl and S together and you're good to go. Third step is the local group policy editor and this will only work for Windows Pro users. So if you're running Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro, you can follow this step. You can simply search for local group policy editor and you'll find edit group policy. You can simply open this thing up and then you have to extend this screen a little bit just so you can see everything. Now over here you'll find computer configuration. So go into administrative templates and over here you have to go into Windows components. Right over here you'll find app privacy, you have to double click on this and at the end you'll find let windows apps run in the background. In windows 10 you can also find this as background applications that you have to turn this thing off right. So you have to double click on this and open this thing up. And once it opens up, you have to make sure to set this thing to enabled. But don't worry, this is not going to enable your background applications. The default for all applications should be set to force deny. And this will stop your windows to run applications in the background and hence it will improve your gameplay performance much better. Simply apply it and then close this setting. Next is disabling memory compression on your PC and this is really really important. For that you have to press your windows button and you have to open up powershell and run this thing as an administrator. Now don't worry this is gonna be completely safe. Now over here you have to type in this command that is get MMA agent and it will give you the memory compression status for me it is false that is exactly how it should be if this thing is true you have to disable this now disabling memory compression will definitely help you in getting more fps although it's necessary for windows sometimes memory compression keeps running on a lot of background services which are not really necessary and you can disable them to get extra fps and for that you have to type in this command you can also screen it on your screen that is disable hyphen mma gent paste hyphen MC. Just doing this command will disable your memory compression and set this thing to false. Now once again, if you face downgrade in your performance options, you can always go all the way back and change this thing from disable to enable and that will enable your memory compression. Don't forget to restart your PC once you are done with this step. Now next step is setting up your virtual memory and for that you have to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows on your PC and over here you have to click on adjust for best performance, click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts and then go over to the advanced section. Set your processor scheduling to programs and your virtual memory. Click on change and then set the custom size to 1361. The initial size just a little bit over 1 GB and the maximum size should be half of your total physical memory. So for that you have to search for system information on your PC. Take a note of your installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me. Also take a note of your processor that is AMD for me. It could be different for you. Now you have to open up a calculator on your PC and you have to do this calculation. Simply multiply your total physical memory with 1024 and that will give you your memory in megabytes. Now what you have to do is divide this thing by 2 and the total amount you get is what you have to paste in the maximum size and then simply click on apply. Now that is how you set up your virtual memory and that is how you should do it every single time. Next step is getting a low ping and fixing all of your network issues in Valorant and for that I highly recommend you guys to use exit lag. Links are down in the description below. You can go and download this thing for free and exit lag should open up like this. Now right over here you will find a list of over thousands of games to choose from. You can simply look up for Valorant over here and add your nearest game region that is Mumbai for me. Then click on use the routes within my country first and then it will show you the estimated ping on your PC. Simply click on apply routes and you're good to go. The best part is it has a tool section where you can go to FPS boost section, enable the first second third fourth fifth third last and last option and that will give you the best fps possible in the game once again exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription but in their happy new year sale you guys can get a monthly quarterly or annual subscription in which if you get a quarterly subscription you'll get two months free and if you get an annual subscription you'll get three months free so if you pay for 12 months you'll get 15 months absolutely free make sure to go check out exit lag links are in the description below now next step is creating a restore point and this is super simple and super efficient. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC, look for a local disk C, simply click on create and name it Valorant just so you can remember it from. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it ensures your system safety and if you want to restore every settings back without any data loss you can always do that. Now next step is the Valorant episode 8 FPS pack, I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply open this pack up and you will find the first folder which is the CPU priority. Now I have an AMD CPU so I need to run the AMD CPU priority but if you have an intel cpu you can always run the intel cpu priority as well 
then you have valorant priority and this is what you have to play with now once again you have to leave your computer specifications down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which one to choose from the normal priority is what you always have default on your pc the one that you have to choose is high or above normal priority so for that you need to leave your cpu specifications as well as the ram specifications third one is the ram optimization and i use 32 gb ram it could be different for you so you can always pick anyone from the list over here i've already given a lot of presets and if this doesn't work for you guys you can always reset it to default from this button right over here next is windows important tweaks and over here you'll find some of these registry files this is completely optional and the other steps if they help you out you can always skip them but once again for maximum performance i highly recommend you guys to do all of this now first one will disable unnecessary services background applications disable downloading maps transparency improve windows system responsiveness and then the win 32 priority separation that will help you to improve your cpu's performance now once again if all of them doesn't work out as intended you can always go to revert registries and revert all of the settings back to normal last is the programs folder in which i have left clean temporary files as well as unpack cpu both of them are really important and i highly suggest you guys to run also for temporary files you have to right click and run this thing as an administrator once this pops up, you have to simply press any key on your PC and it will start deleting the temporary files and you have to press any key and continue it out. This is completely safe, don't worry, it will not delete any of your important file. Then is in Park CPU, you have to open this thing up and this is a super simple application you have to go over here and set your system power plan to ultimate performance if that is available otherwise you can always click on high performance as well then don't forget to click on set as active and that should be done for core parking index you have to slide this thing all the way to 100 percent and then simply click on apply windows by default has a tendency to park all of the unused cores that means windows does not utilize all of the cores when you're playing the games unparking all of your cores will force your computer to use all of the cores while you're playing the games that will ultimately result in better performance keep this application running whenever you're playing the game and we are done with the fps pack last step is the best valorant settings and for that you need to open up your game all right once you're in your game what you have to do is go over to settings and over here for the general settings i highly recommend you guys to set your raw input buffer to on and then you have to go over to the video settings and right over here in the general section make sure that you always play on full screen and your nvidia reflex low latency is set to on plus boost right after that go over to graphics quality and enable multi-threaded rendering as this will help you guys a lot if you have a processor with more than four cores this setting will be available for you and if you turn this thing off you're missing out on so much fps right after that set all of your material and your quality to low vignette and vsync to off anti-aliasing to none and isotroping to 1x improve clarity bloom and experimental sharpening off distortion off and cast shadows off as well and simply close settings and you're good to go so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button also we have introduced channel membership on the channel so if you guys are not a part of my membership yet do support the channel by getting the subscription it will definitely help me a lot we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching Bear Fox, and peace out